Good evening and welcome to another episode of Adventures at Stoving. This is your host, Hike and Jim here, and I've just uh, brewed up a cup of tea here on my nice MSR reactor stove. Now, the question of the day here is, can an MSR reactor simmer? Now, that's a good question. The MSR reactor is one of the hottest starn stoves out there. And uh, everybody knows it can boil water, but can it simmer? Now, if you will look, you will see steam coming out of this water. You will notice that the water is not boiling. And that water was just boiling. I just made myself a cup of tea. Well, let's take a look at our friend the reactor, though. Let's set aside the pot for just a moment. Now, if you look carefully, you can see it's glowing a dull red. And if I turn that knob up, oh yeah, that puppy's on. So. Yes, you can simmer with an MSR reactor. I find that I have to do it visually probably more than anything else. When it gets down to a very, very dull red, about right there, that's your simmering heat. Let's put that pot back on. And I can hold that at a pretty good temperature now. It's starting to steam again, but it is not boiling. So I have heard that you're not supposed to be able to simmer a reactor. Well, I don't know about that. My reactor seems to simmer all right. Now, you may notice something else here that's kind of odd. And that is that my tank of gas probably doesn't look like your tank of gas. This is not the standard threaded con uh, connector type canister that you would see most of the time for this kind of stove. This is a side laying canister. This is the kind of canister that you get from, I don't know, just your common grocery store. This comes uh, from China, or actually this one, excuse me, was made in Korea, but these generally come from Asia. They're inexpensive, eight ounce containers of butane, not isobutane, not isobutane combined with propane, just butane. Probably not going to be your cold weather go-to fuel. But they're a heck of a lot cheaper and what you need, see this little adapter right here, get that three-legged adapter, screw in that container of gas, and away you go. And that works great. And I haven't had any problems with this uh, adapter. You'll notice the adapter, the body is made out of plastic. Well, if you look at the underside of an MSR reactor stove, which it's a little hard to see here, but it's also plastic. So I'm really not worried that much about the heat. And when I touch that stove, it's warm, but it's not melting the plastic. And you'll notice I didn't just cry out in, you know, utter pain or anguish. Now, let's take a look at our water. Still not boiling, still below boiling. All right, let's see about our stove here. The proof in the pudding is in the eating. Well, it's still on. And if I turn that baby up, oh yeah, that puppy's on. So I don't know. Some people say you're not supposed to be able to simmer with these guys. I don't seem to have any trouble with it. I'm not sure why mine would do it and others won't, but uh, you can't do it by looking at the flame, obviously, because it's a, you know, it's a radiated heat type of stove. So what I do is I just turn it till it's kind of a dull, dull, light dull, kind of red there. Pop that puppy back on there and simmer away. Okay, well, there you have it. There's an MSR reactor. And yes, it does simmer, and yes, you can save a lot of money by using the less expensive butane canisters if you get an adapter. Well, my tea's getting cold, and I think I'm going to sit down and enjoy a cup of tea. I hope you've enjoyed another episode of Adventures in Stoving with Hike and Jim. Thanks.